President Irfan Ali has instructed Agriculture Minister Zulfikar Mustafa to meet with representatives of the Guyana Sugar Corporation, GAYO, the Workers' Union, and other stakeholders to ascertain the cause of the worst sugar production output in history, despite the government pumping billions of dollars in the virtually paralyzed industry. Mr. Jagdeo indicated that he had learnt that Guy Suko's position was that it has expanded cultivation and would produce 60,000 to 70,000 tons this year. Clearly, that is below their target, so the Minister of Agriculture has to explain to the President why they are underperforming on their target and give a credible explanation, the Vice President said. Guy's UCO has refused to respond to concerns by the Guyana Agricultural and General Workers Union about the all-time low output and the reasons for the dismal performance. The Chief Executive Officer Paul Chin and the Public Relations Department had on two separate occasions failed to issue a promised statement. Vice President Barad Jardio said Dr. Ali was awaiting a report from the Agriculture Minister after the meeting with Guy's UCO management and a number of other people who have an interest or knowledge about sugar to get a report back to him. The Parliamentary Opposition of Partnership for National Unity Plus Alliance for Change and the Working People's Alliance has accused the People's Progressive Party Civic Administration of pumping more than GE $30 billion into Guy's UCO without any returns. But Mr. Jack Deal said the corporation was spending a lot of money on major conversion of beds to mechanization aimed at increasing output in the future. He said new cane varieties were being brought in from Brazil and possibly Cuba to increase yield. The corporation, he said, was suffering from some delayed maintenance and some management issues. GAU on October 28th said while Gaisuko's overall production target was approximately 70,000 tons, as of October 26, 2024, Gaisuko produced 24,711 tons or just 39% of its second crop target of 63,276 tons. On top of that, the privately owned Stabrik News newspaper on Monday reported that the corporation's 2023 annual report, which was presented to the Office of the Auditor General, shows a $4.7 billion loss and a subsidy of $15 billion is from government. Already, the corporation has recorded sagging losses of $7.8 billion in 2021 and $10.2 billion in 2022. A Partnership for National Unity Plus Alliance for Change Shadow Agriculture Minister Vince Roy Jordan backed the WPAS call for another commission of inquiry. At the same time, he believed that the APNU plus AFC's closure of the Wales, East Demerara, Rose Hall and Skeldon Estates in 2016 and 2017 was the best option to turn around the industry. Mr. Jordan attributed the all-time slump in sugar production to poor land management, including failure to rest the land to acquire nutrients, and bad mechanization practices. He said all of those flaws were compounded by premature harvesting of canes, resulting in less sugar production. He said the all-time low production has to be calculated from the initial target of 100,000 tons, rather than the revised and now unmet target of just over 60,000 tons.